Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and it is October so we are in the full-blown Halloween season and uh, Disney released a bunch of spooky snacks and also some really cool Halloween entertainment I wanted to come out and show you and then on top of that we have Gideon's to look forward to and October is their birthday month so they have tons of amazing surprises I can't wait to go over everything with you so we're gonna eat some food do some shopping and have a spooky Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day out today. You couldn't ask for a better October day. It's in the low 80s and we've got tons of wind and I'm really loving it here. The only downside is, is we still got some smoke in the air from the Canadian wildfires. Other than that, I'm happy to be here today. Like I mentioned, Gideon's is celebrating its birthday and all month long they're going to be having some awesome specials and even some really cool merch that benefit uh, the Liberation Cat House, which is a non-profit organization. But for their birthday month itself, they actually are going to have four menus. They're going to have something new every single week and we are in the first week, October 1st, and I want to show you the menu. It's going to be so good. I can't wait to go over all the details. Details. I think we're gonna hop right in line at Gideon's because there's no virtual queue and it looks like it's probably about a 10 maybe 15 minute wait here is the first menu for the month of October and we've got Benedict Piccadilly on the front who's gonna guide us through this cat charity month and we're gonna have three more menus released the next menu comes out October 9th and then the 16th and then the 23rd and it's gonna have a special treat every single week and I'm so excited this is the menus are gonna be collectible so they're limited one per customer but here's the cookies of the month they've got the Frankenstein and then the Bride of Frankenstein and uh, also uh, some uh, really cool cake slices so I think we're gonna get them all before Gracie I was actually a cat person myself I had three cats I had Dexter I had Rita which I named them both after one of my favorite TV shows and then I had Snowball and then I met Gracie and I just fell in love with Gracie now I didn't have my cats with me when I moved to Florida but uh, Gracie was my first dog and it's just something cats are very strong cats are very strong and dogs I don't know some dogs are strong but I just look at Gracie and I feel like she needs me she needs me I realize sometimes I never actually show you how much things cost at Gideon's because they don't have the prices like on the menus so I wanted to show you the inside menu all of the cookies are six dollars each the cake slices are nine dollars each and then they have some limited time offerings like the coffee cake cookie is only available in the morning and it's there until it's sold out which is only six dollars and then they have the dark coffee cake cookie which is available at sunset and that one's only six dollars too and then they have uh, coffee uh, well the uh, Gideon's brew house and they're six dollars each Alrighty, I got the goods and I can't wait to show you everything I got. I did get a lot, but uh, that is because I am uh, kind of excited. Like I love October, I love spooky stuff. Look at my look at my shirt. Look at this. Doesn't this fit perfect? It reminds me of like old school, like vintage Halloween, but it's hocus pocus. I love the pumpkins and the bats. It fits perfect for Gideon's. Roosevelt's knocked it out of the park. But yeah, let's dive in and see what delicious things await inside this bag. I think this is actually my biggest Gideon's haul yet. Like, I don't think I've ever spent this much money in one single trip to Gideon's, and uh, I'm so happy about it. Look at this. Wait till I show you what's inside here. Benedict Piccadilly has his own 8x10 print, and it's actually signed by Steve, the owner of Gideon's himself, and these are $50, and the proceeds go to the uh, Liberation Cat House, and I got two of them because I'm gonna give away one of them to my friend who uh, actually has a black cat. So I thought he would like it a lot and uh, just donated $100 to the uh, Liberation ch uh, uh, Cat House. And I actually, I, I wanna show up, I'm gonna pull up their uh, uh, Instagram, look at that. That's their Instagram and it's so cool that Gideon's, I'm gonna follow. Gideon's is uh, uh, really uh, saving uh, some cats' lives here. I like it. 
I feel like Disney is really missing an opportunity to have like a lazy river throughout Disney Springs. Can you imagine just floating through here with tubes? But then again, it wouldn't look as pretty though because then it would just be a spring full of people in tubes. Like you probably, it would probably be like one of those videos where you see nothing but like inflatable tubes in the water. You know what I mean? Do you know how exciting this is? A new menu every single week for the whole month of October? I am so excited. We've got new cookies, we've got new cake slices. Ooh, and we also have the French toast uh, coffee coming back. So I got one of those too. The, the big one, French toast coffee or cold brew. Oh, much too good. I didn't even look to see what the cookies look like yet. I'm sure they look like the same thing last year. They uh, usually bring these back every single Halloween, but they always tweak the ingredients a little bit. Uh, and you have the Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein, and they both come in cookies and cake slices. So we have two cookies and two cake slices, and I think I'm gonna start with uh, Frankenstein Lives, which is this cookie right here. Look at this. It's a mashup of Oreo and different chocolates and M&M's and the Bride of Frankenstein is the same exact thing, but it has golden Oreos instead. So here we go. Frankenstein lives. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that Oreo right there. Holy moly. Honestly, it's like an explosion of flavors because there's so much happening. Like, you know what I mean? There is so much happening happening inside the cookie itself but i love it and uh, make sure you guys let me know which one you think you'd like better do you think you'd love the frankenstein lives or the bride of frankenstein and speaking of that i think i'm gonna dive into this one i'll let you know which one i like more too i'm definitely only gonna be taking one bite of each item and then putting it back in the bag and saving it there we go look at that i just fold them right back up and then uh Put it right back in here and then i put them in the freezer when i'm done and then here is uh the other cookie that i have this one is the uh bride of frankenstein oh it's floating away these things i'm in a windy day today yeah there it is the bride of frankenstein look at this ah oh, all right here we go and this is how the cookie crumbles wow much too good huh i can tell you let's get let's uh give it a bite Hands down, I am a uh, team Bride of Frankenstein. This was phenomenal. I mean, I like the other one too, but I love golden Oreos and uh, I loved it so much. In fact, I might take it a second bite. Oh, hey! Oh, I don't even see you there. Are we gonna be in the video? Yeah, if you because yeah, I, I already, oh man, I'm recording the whole time. This is my friend. Hey this is my friend Blake. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I wasn't either. I didn't I know I was recording. I just walked off. And here is my friend Blake, and uh, there is uh, the print for you, my friend. I'm so excited. So we have a black cat. Yeah. His name is Bjorn, and that was the first thing we had to do. We were just casually coming, and then my friend over here, Nate, wanted to be like, oh, good to see you. I'm like, I'm not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I was coming out and I saw you in line and I was talking about it and he was like, I have a black cat. I'm like, oh man, you got to have this. Yep. And it's signed by Steve. I had no idea. Steve signed it. Yeah. So apparently, I don't know if you know this, they're only doing one of these per week. Yeah. They're well, no. New characters yep. And you'll have, month. yep. Every single week, a new menu and, uh, and new, new food. Yeah. I'm really excited There's a special that. treat each week. I think I probably would have cried if I didn't grab this art, to be honest. I would have I'm been happy, so, man. I'm so sad because we had to get it because we love our cat. That's the way. Appreciate it. That's so funny. I'm glad I got to give them that. And uh, yeah, the cookies are good. I'm all, I'm team Bride of Frankenstein. That could, it was just so good. And the golden Oreos, they put like chunks of Oreos in both of them. Uh, but now I just want to show you the cake slices. I don't think I'm going to eat them. I think I might just uh, put them in the bag and take them home. But at least I get to show you. Or maybe I'll take a dab. Maybe, maybe a little bite. Maybe, maybe a little bite. A lot of people always ask me why I like Gideon so much and of course they make very delicious cakes and cookies but uh, it's also their branding it's so awesome like look at this protect the cake slice we don't use a ton of sugar in our butter creams and they can break down quickly so refrigerate I just love that and uh, yeah we're gonna dive in let's see what's in here which one is this one? Oh, I think we see the Frankenstein look at that that is a nice looking cake. And look at the top there. Oh, and it's got M&Ms on there. Oh, it's a very windy day. I'm gonna lose that one. And then that's it right there. Look at that. 
chunks of M&M &M in the middle there. These are two good looking cake slices. I mean, I think they come with a fork right in there too. I'm actually gonna, where is that fork? Where'd you go? I lost the fork, oh no. I at least have to try the cake slice, the Bride of Frankenstein one. Just a little bit, just a little pinch here. It is so good. I'm definitely gonna be having that for dessert later on. And now we have a bag full of cakes and cookies. <laughs> this is, I, I, I got super excited, I got a lot, but you know, maybe I'll meet up with some friends and see if they wanna, well, maybe I wanna try some. Next stop is up near the world of Disney and over to Amaretz because they have a lot of really cool desserts in there and I can't wait to show you some of them. <laughs> like, look at this money. <laughs> it's a little tongue twister. Mummy Mickey Mouse Stone Cake. I don't know why it was a tongue twister. Mummy Mickey Mouse. Mummy Mickey, Mummy Mickey Mouse. Say it like three times fast. Mummy Mickey Mouse. Mummy Mickey Mouse. Mummy Mickey Mouse. I did a good job. Oh my lord, it's $65. Mummy Mickey Money. I had all intentions of buying that Mickey Mummy cake, uh, but I did not know it was $65. I thought it was going to be the smaller ones. Uh, so uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should still get it. It is a huge cake. Like I know you see it like on uh, the picture there, but it's bigger than my head. And I think uh, maybe I'll get it and uh, share it with some friends. And it'd be cool to show you. And plus, I love peanut butter. Oh wow, look at this. They actually have an Oogie Boogie Cream Puff and then a Jack Skellington and a Sally Eclair. But uh, honestly, what I'm about to get, there's no way that I could literally walk out of here with both of those items and what I'm about to get and uh, be able to finish it within a year. Look at this fancy bag. They even put the tissue paper in there. I think you guys already know what I got, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Oh boy, look at this cake. What a fancy box they put it in too. You gotta unravel it here, take the lid off. There we go, and then I think this connects. Oh, there, oh, there it goes this way. Oh, look at that. Mickey Mouse is peeking out right now, wow. I gotta be careful with this because it is like 60, $69, so I don't wanna. Oh yeah, there it is. Doesn't that look so cool? I can't wait to cut into it and see what it looks like in the middle. Okay, now that we got a little sneak peek of the uh, cake itself, I'm gonna put it back in its box, and I'm gonna protect it, and I'm gonna make sure it has, uh, no harm comes to it. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna go, uh, I don't know where we're gonna go eat it. I wanna meet up with my friends and share it with them, so I think we're going out tonight maybe to get something to eat or to Halloween Horror Nights. Can you imagine bringing a Mickey Mummy cake to Halloween Horror Nights? I think I might. Now I want to show you guys some of the Halloween like activities that they have and one of the things I saw that's really cool is a, uh, a Pumpkin it's like a roaming pumpkin with a witch and it's basically uh, kind of like a mobile DJ And it's really awesome So I'm hoping that it'll pop out over here because you got goosebumps there You got uh, the Hulu special a lot of cool stuff Oh my lord, I think it's coming out right now. Holy moly Oh wow, look at this. Huh? Hi pumpkin. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, look at that. And with the fall into magic in the background there. Just being subtle, you know? Wow. No one noticed. The pumpkin DJ I think is so fun. I think uh, the pumpkin DJ comes out uh, 6, 7, and 8 o'clock at night and uh, you can see them all around but mostly up near Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique or where uh, the other side of World of Disney is. And I think Disney Springs needs that. They need more like active entertainment. The stages are great where you can just like stand and uh, like watch a show but you need stuff going all the way around the like the springs. You know what I mean? Like you don't want people just gathering in one area. You want people to be walking around going in the stores so I think a mobile DJ is literally perfect 
All right, I don't think I could take the pressure of carrying around all these delicate cakes. <laughs> I got the cake slice from Gideon's in there. I've got the whole Mickey Mummy cake. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it home and share it with some of my friends. I just thought it was so cool looking. You know, you ever just say, you know what, I gotta get it. Uh, and, and I'm happy I did. You raise me up so I can climb the mountains. You raise me up. <laughs> Whoop. Now, I didn't stop and get Gracie pup cakes or pup cups because she's got a couple of them at home. I was just here a couple weeks ago. So we'll head home, see Gracie, drop off our stuff, and then uh, kind of figure out a plan. And, where are we gonna eat this cake at? I have one job, and that is to make sure this cake makes it to its destination safely. I'm not taking any chances. There you go. Nice and safe. There she is, little Miss Gracie girl. Oh, I got a treat for you. I got a treat. Who's a good girl? Wow, I didn't even have to tell you to sit. Look at her. <laughs> you ready? Gracie doesn't catch things. She actually like deflects it with her head and then uh, she eats it, but watch. Where'd it go? You can get it. Go ahead. You can totally reach that. Gracie, you can totally get that cookie. You do not need me to get you that cookie. Yeah. There you go, and look, there's the balloon, still, uh, still hanging strong. Okay, hey, hey, we're going for a walk. All right, now that we got Gracie her little treat, and it's so funny, like I said, she doesn't even realize the balloon's up there. Uh, I think we're gonna go to Halloween Horror Nights, but uh, I wanna stop and uh, I wanna share uh, the cake that we got with uh, my friends, and I brought the Gideons too, so we're just gonna have a little pre-Gideons uh, cookie cake party, pre-HHN party. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know. And we're gonna eat some cookies. Uh, Jason, you, you've never had Gideon's before, right? Never had Gideon's. All right, I, I wanna see your, your uh, reaction to Gideon's. I got what? a piece of this delight right here. Is it the golden Oreo one? Golden Oreo, cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now you're hooked, Gideon's, every month. Every month. And look. Wow. Now you can have some of that one too. And you gotta have some of the cake. Nate left this cake at Sean's house. So I am helping myself to a nice little bud. It looks so good. Nate doesn't even know I'm taking this video. He left his camera here. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, that chocolate cake is to die for that icing. I always say this, Loki, Gideon's cakes might be better than their cookies. There it is. Oh, do you have a knife? Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, do we have any plates or, uh, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't want to cut it. It is so beautiful. Like, look at this. I'm going to try pulling it out. Yo, be careful. <laughs> I'm very careful. I'm very careful. Ooh. If you drop that. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful. My computer monitor. All right, Jason, you cut. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, we're gonna cut it right, nice, just like that. Oh, look at that smooth slice. There we go. Oh my lord, this is so satisfying. Yo, what a slice. Yo, that is the way. So wow. We're just gonna oh, we got the spatula. Right there we go, there we go. Right oh, don't lose is his the eye. Too big? Oh, the oh, spatula is too big. Gross, that's a real spatula. Maybe use, use the, the knife. knife. Use the knife. Yep, yep, yeah. Go yeah. so so knife. We have a cake spatula. Oh, here we go. This is it. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow, actually. Holy moly. I'll take some right here. Thank you. Ooh, oh wow. 
Holy moly, it does look really, really good in there. Wow. Look at that. What flavor is Look it? at the layers. Peanut butter. Caramel. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know if that cake could beat this Gideon's cake. Nate really? Know it, but I vlogged myself eating this cake on his camera. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. This was the cake that I used for the photos. This cake is so good. Yeah? Uh, it's so good. I, we'll have to see if it's better. I know. I'm already kind of excited. That is an... We have to get the cake and the Oreo. Yeah, you gotta get a yeah, cake. We're, we're, we're having a cake party here, like legit. Like, yeah, so like this is so funny. Like, look. We're all just gathered around the cake and cookies. Yeah, cake and cookies, we're like, oh, yep. Huh? Dude, isn't that good? Oh, good cake. Oh. Why'd you bring this over? This I'm one's sad, better. Dude, this is bad. That's better? That one's no better. Way. No way. I'm sorry. No I'm sorry, no Gideon. I love that. I don't like peanut butter like that. No, I, I eat it at this angle. That. It was good. It's so much better. There's no way. Oh, yes. Yo, why do you take such an aggressive scoop? <laughs> hey, hey, why so aggressive? <laughs> but me and Sean and Jason are all in agreement. The Gideon's cake is better. That cake was them. All right, I'm going to try this one. This cake all over. Yeah, they haven't been. Everybody's going on the Gideon's. I'm, I'm going to try this again, to be honest. Yeah, y'all. Y'all took all the Oreo out. Oh boy. I still have to go with this one. I mean, I just don't, I, I'm not a big chocolate guy, but this I cake slice didn't even make up. it. You grow up! What? <laughs> what do you mean? Look at what, look at what. Look at what, what, what. <laughs> Enough of the cookie and cake business. We made our way to Universal Studios Orlando. What a random night. I'm so sorry. I just thought it was so funny uh, how we were hanging out just eating the leftover cakes. But I feel like the Mickey cake was way better. I, only because I'm not that big into the chocolate cake, you know? And uh, yeah, we're going to head on in and do some Halloween Horror Nights and just kind of relax for a little bit. It's, it's a fun night. I love coming out during October. Reminds me of uh, being back home in Pennsylvania and going out to like all the different haunts like up at the Circle Drive-In movie theater and stuff like that, so. And this weather is amazing. Just to give you a heads up, I'm sure this probably won't be in the title of the video, and I'm sure there are some people out there who don't know what Halloween Horror Nights is, uh, but this is a, uh, a kind of a graphic or mature haunt. Uh, there's scare zones and houses, so viewer discretion advised. Um, I mean, it's not too bad, but still, though, I always want to give that little warning just in case. I mean, I love it. It's a good time. Look at it's a good time in there. Oh wow, this is actually really beautiful. That's a great photo. Now we are going to be walking through some of the scare zones. So you might see some scare actors pop out and scare us. And we might hop in uh, line for a house or two. And you can't film inside the house, but I was here for a media event with Universal Studios Orlando when it first opened and I was allowed to film uh, in the houses. So if we do walk through any of the houses, I'll just insert some of the clips from my original POV just so you guys can feel like you're hanging out with us. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I always want my videos. Like I, I want to bring you guys like along with us. <laughs> These vampires are out for blood tonight, I tell ya. Oh wow. Hey! I think we're gonna make our way back to uh Diagon Alley, but we have to walk through another scare zone. Wow. Oh. They're trying to move me, but at the same time, they're trying to scare me. What the heck? I didn't say that. I don't even know where they're coming from. We were hoping to make it to Diagon Alley uh, at the same time the Death, the, uh, the Death Eaters were out, but it uh, looks like we missed the Death Eaters. Oh, but I think we maybe walked in just in time for uh, the dragon. Oh, they are still out. The lights are green. Yo, if a Death Eater comes out and attacks me. Oh, they are out. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Kind of funny because we might not even go into a house tonight. I think uh, we're gonna go on Gringotts right now because it's such a short wait and uh, a lot of people just want to ride the rides here, so. Right? How's your knees feel at this point? Not good? I know, I'm like, wow. I wish the death eat. Oh, that's pretty. Well, I'm happy that we came into Diagon Alley. We literally just got here, walked on, and rode Gringotts, and then we got to see the Death Eaters, and it was really cozy, and a nice way to start off HHN. And now, I don't know, we'll kind of just walk around. It's really cool when you come as a, like, an ant or a frequent fair pass, because I get to come, uh, mostly, I think I get to come every single night, I have the highest tier. So it's, it's different, because you don't come and just, like, try to rush, 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 you just take your time, relax, and then enjoy the park in a different, like, view. <laughs> to HHN a little bit later in the evening is so cool because you can kind of take it at your own pace. It's real chill, relaxed. It's not crowded at all. And we kind of just hang out, you know? We rode some rides and uh, we uh, didn't even do any houses, just walked through scare zones. And now we're just kind of chilling out outside Finnegan's and I'm just noticing like how empty it is around here. It's really cool because you can kind of just hang out and listen to the music from uh, the uh, scare zone right there. And let me tell you, we've been chilling out like over in this little alleyway here. Like, look at this, we're just hanging out here. Oh, I bet you they went inside here. Oh yeah, this is where you get food. Oh yeah, you check out here and there's a whole bunch of food stands in there. Oh, I actually might want to get some. Yeah, look how cool this is. Yeah, you go, you have to pay out front uh, and then you take your ticket in here and you get to show them and uh, they have a lot of the food from The Last of Us. I showed this uh, last time I came here, it was so cool. Very good food, I like it. And with that, we are done here tonight. It was a little fun hanging out at Halloween Horror Nights. I can't believe we didn't get to do any houses though. Like, we didn't do any. We just kind of just kind of hung out. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!